From heartbreaking confessions of idols to devastating live streams that left fans worried for their lives, here is a third part of the most heartbreaking things idols ever said on camera. Taemin. Is it actually possible to not love Taemin? Not only is he an extremely talented singer, dancer, and performer, but he's so freaking hilarious that his livestream single-handedly saved 2020 and 2021. Before his enlistment at the end of May of 2021, he held his last livestream in which he confessed that he regrets not spending more time with his fans because he enjoys doing these lives more than anything. He got so emotional that he started crying after he said, I think about this a lot too. I should have started to talk to you sooner and more often. I should have been closer to you. I realized this late. I realized this too late. The reason why it was so emotional was that you can see that he meant it. It wasn't just a memorized phrase, but his own words. But if you think that this live stream was the most heartbreaking thing, you're wrong. Just a couple of days before his enlistment, he held his last performance show. When he was giving his speech before his last song, he got extremely emotional. Timmin shared, Please, stay by my side. I'm always so thankful that I have you. I know you're always thinking of me. I know I'm not perfect as well. I hope to give you more the next time I'm back. Please wait for me. I hope that Tammy knows that his fans won't leave him when he's in the military. Quite the contrary, we are counting days till his release. Woods. Many of you know Woods as a cheerful guy who has a very unique style of music. Well, you aren't wrong. He's all that, but there's something much darker behind his pretty smile. In 2021, his fans were left speechless when he appeared in the YouTube documentary show Welcome to My Bobbers. During his episode, Woods talked about his music and career in general. He admitted that it wasn't all easy because the projects he was a part of failed too many times. Whether it was a group Unic in which he debuted or him becoming a member of X1. The most devastating thing was when he actually admitted that he was Woods revealed that when he was at his lowest, he wrote a song titled Meaningless. In the show, he said, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but it was a song about of course, this confession made many of us worried. During the episode, Woods felt emotional several times meeting strangers and his friends. He ended up crying and drew attention to how mentally exhausting the entertainment industry is. DIA's Somie. The most devastating and touching moment was once again a live stream that was held by Somie. The live stream that I'm referring to took place on December 14, 2019, and media outlets covered it immediately because it alarmed the whole K pop community. Somie revealed that her company hadn't let her use social media for months and that she couldn't do anything. Not only that, but she said that the agency simply ignored her. Somie confessed that she went live in secret. The connection keeps cutting off. Maybe because the company keeps calling me, I turned it on secretly. The company told me not to do live streams. After that, she said, said, because I'm ugly, when I rest, DIA will become more beautiful. It was totally heartbreaking to hear Somi say that she isn't pretty. I want to look pretty in front of fans. I even did my nails, but in front of people, I'm scared. I'm nobody, but I really love my DIA members, so please give DIA a lot of love. The fans were really concerned because Somi admitted that she took some pills and many people thought that she was hinting that she was gonna take her own the fans who were on the live stream later left comments on the online forum saying, I was there. She did three to four lives because she kept losing her connection. She was crying and she kept saying, I'm sorry. I love you, and bye. I just hope she's doing better now. Girls' Generation When it comes to this legendary girl group, I could pick many of their sad moments because they've had plenty of them, but I think we can all agree that one of the most devastating things ever was when Jessica got kicked out of the group. I guess it's a heartbreaking moment from the K-pop world in general. Although that alone was devastating, it's even harder to process when looking back at some of the things that the members of Girls' Generation said in the past. Especially this quote by the group hits completely different now. If there's one thing we genuinely wish for, it's for all nine of our girls' generation members to go together until the end. As if that's not enough, just connect it with what Jessica once said and you're gonna cry for sure. They say if you fall, someone who loves you will lend a hand for you. Here, I have eight pairs of hands, always ready to hold me back up when I stumble backwards. I will never stop hoping for an OT9 reunion and it's something I'll never get over. Wednesday. Wednesday was a Chinese cast member on the survival show Girls Planet 999 and the Chinese show Youth With You 2. Although she didn't end up in the final line of the group formed in Girls Planet 999, she gathered a large fan base. The most touching moment with her was when the contestants received video messages from their parents. When Jay got a video from her dad and got visibly emotional while watching it, she cried a lot and after it ended, she turned her head up and while sobbing, she said, Mama, I made it to finals. Her mom passed away and she wanted to tell her that she got so far in the competition. When I say I was bawling, I mean it. Renjin. It's safe to say that Renjin from NCT is one of the biggest sweethearts that we've ever seen. Not 
only is he extremely talented, but he's kind and always thoughtful. He puts others before him and makes sure that everybody is okay. However, he himself has gone through a lot and I'm not even going to dip into how heavily mistreated he was by SM Entertainment. And who knows if he still is, but what I want to talk about is one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen. One time, Renjin was sending a video message to his parents during an episode of NCT Life. He commented on how his parents were worried when he went to Korea and that they kept thinking if he was healthy and eating well. He got so emotional that he had to stop talking for several seconds and then while crying continued, I think you don't have to worry about me because I'm fine here because my members help me. And there's also Win Win Hyung who treats me well and other Hyungs treat me well too. After that, he told his parents that he loved them. The whole cast of the show was visibly touched, some of them even crying. Another time when Renjin made all of us cry was when he revealed that he was struggling a lot when he was younger. He shared that he even visited a doctor who introduced him to art therapy. Renjin said, I was struggling a lot. I could have found a way to overcome it, but I was very young without any experience. To give you an example, it was like placing my hand on a hot surface and it was burning hot, but I didn't know. Renjin started crying and Gino finished it for him saying, you didn't know what to do. You couldn't find a way. Renjin deserves the whole world. Park Seo Jun. Although Park Seo Jun is not a K-pop idol but a Korean actor, I had to include him in here because what he said on camera made the whole audience sobbing. Seo Jun is one of the most famous Korean actors right now, but of course, it took some time till he got to the top. At 2017 KBS's Drama Award, Seo Jun won in the category Excellence Award, actor in a miniseries for Fight for My Way. At the same awards, he also won in the category of Netizen Award, and alongside Kim Ji Won, he won Best Couple Award. After he thanked everyone, he revealed that he promised promised himself that if he won that night, he would mention something. Full of emotions and on the verge of crying, Sojun shared, Recently, my father told me that now people call him not by his name but as Park Sojun's dad. That's what he told me. A part of me felt bad hearing that. I don't usually show my parents. The audience began to cheer for Sojun, encouraging him to speak because he couldn't help himself but cry. I'm not good at showing my feelings to them, so I'd like to do so at a time like this. Dad, if not for you, I wouldn't be here. I truly love you. I love you, mom, and I I love my family. I will do my best to be good to you. Sojun also mentioned that when he was preparing for his speech that day, he realized that there was nothing more important than the well-being and happiness of his family. Choa. The former member of AOA, Choa, made quite a few statements that truly left us crying. Her biggest struggle in life was mental health and finding a healthy relationship with food. At one point, Choa said, no matter how much weight I end up losing, I'll never be pretty. It's sad to hear such words and especially when they're coming from a beautiful young lady who is beyond beautiful. The pressure she was feeling was coming from the high beauty standards that the K-pop world puts on the female idols. After Choa left AOA, she tried to do some things on her own, but at the very peak of her popularity, she disappeared. This year, she revealed why that happened and what she was going through. Choa confessed, I felt tired looking at myself, and I just wanted to run away. She also revealed another touching thing. I thought to myself that to do as well as I wanted, I had to be reborn. I wanted to run away, and I thought that it wasn't the right path for me. Right now, Choa is doing much better in terms of mental health, and I hope that she has a bright future ahead. Jay from day 6 Jay is someone we all know as a very friendly and funny guy, but it all changed when he revealed what he was going through. At the beginning of October this year, he went live and let all his feelings out. He exposed JYP Entertainment saying that they pushed him out of day 6 and forced him to go on a break. Jay said, I was never the one who said I didn't want to perform. I was never the person who said I'm going to take a break. I've had that on my chest for a very long time. The live stream got heated real quick and the atmosphere rapidly changed as Jay was exposing more and more stuff he had to deal with. He even hinted that he was thinking about leaving the band. The most heartbreaking thing that left many people crying was when he said with a voice full of emotions, I want you guys to know that I've done everything I could for day 6. It's devastating to see idols fighting for their rights and having to clear things up because their agencies are ignoring them. Jay deserves better. Send me. When it comes to Send me, I could talk about a lot of things that she said that made us all cry. Whether it's her talking about her mental disorder or her remembering her dad. Before the show Girls Planet 999 aired, the mentors met together and Send me with Tiffany Young had a face-to-face -face conversation. During this conversation, Simni recalled her rookie days and how hard it was for her to get through them. If you don't know, Simni debuted as a member of the legendary girl group Wonder Girls. JYP tried to promote them in the USA and so they went there for various activities, even touring with the Jonas Brothers. But Simni revealed that it wasn't so easy. The words that hit us hard were, I cried every night, all the time, because everything was so strange to me. Back in 2020, she opened up about how she was diagnosed with borderline disorder. I left Wonder Girls to take some time off. At that time, I was 
dealing with mental illness rather than physical illness. I debuted as a solo artist, then I promoted with Wonder Girls again. I left the agency and I had a lot of time to think about myself, but that time started to eat away at me. And she continued with, about five years ago, I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. That was what had been tormenting me so much. It was such a relief. After I was diagnosed, I got treatment and medicine and it got better. I think that Simni is a one-of-a-kind artist and she truly is a role model. Cho Hyeryeon In July 2021, Korean netizens chose the most heartbreaking scene on a celebrity reality show. Although many of you probably don't know who Cho Hyeryeon is, this will for sure make you look her up. She's a Korean comedian, but her life story is far from a happy fairy tale. She was born as a fifth daughter into her family and her mother hated her. During an episode of What is Mom, Hyeryeon met with her mother who was so heartless that she actually told a story of how she tried to take Ryeon's life. She literally said, I already had four daughters. Then I had you, another daughter. Do you think I was happy to see you? I hated that I bore another daughter. So I placed you on your stomach and put a heavy blanket over you and another blanket on top. But you didn't. I don't think I can even say anything about this cruel story. In South Korea, having a son has always been valued more than having a daughter. During the episode, Hyeryeon was of course crying and confessed, I never heard my mother tell me that she loved me. She always scolded me, saying that I was wasting her money. When Jin became successful, she bought her mom a house and supported her financially, but it didn't change a thing. When she took her mother abroad for a trip, she didn't even thank her, but said, I would like to see this with my son, who I love the most. Many netizens expressed her surprise at how bad Hyun's mother was treating her. If you know anyone who's struggling, tell them you love them today. We're all going through so much and I think it's the least we can do to remind others that they matter. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope I didn't make you cry too much. Bye guys!